Hi again, this is the Bible Talk video blog. I'm Mike Mazzalongo. I want to describe a bird to you, see if you can guess what it is. They have wings and feathers. They're classified as birds, but they don't fly. Clue number two. Unlike birds, however, these creatures' feet are at the end of their bodies and not at the middle of their bodies like other birds. Another clue? Um, this uh, situation where their feet are at the bottom of their bodies enables them to swim as well as to walk. Are we getting a little closer to the answer? Okay, one more. In addition to this, under their long and waterproof feathers, there is a thick layer of blubber that enables them to swim in the coldest of waters without ever being cold themselves. So have you figured out who these birds are? Of course, the bird that I'm talking about is the penguin. You know, that, that strange looking creature whose uh, black and white coat often looks um, uh, like uh, they're wearing a tuxedo. Some people even call them the tuxedo birds. You see pictures of these birds, you know, hundreds or thousands of them waddling around on a glacier, making all kinds of terrible racket uh, together, all kinds of noise. Now, an interesting feature of the uh, Adelaide uh, penguin is that uh, they mate for life and they have this fascinating ability to find their mate in a crowd. You can have a, a, a thousand penguins who all look exactly alike gathered in one place. They're all making their greeting sounds, greeting noises, and yet the Adelaide penguin will always find its mate because it can hear the distinct voice of its mate. Above the roar of a thousand voices, they find each other because they know the exact and distinct sounds of each other's voices. What an interesting and fascinating um, feature uh, uh, that these uh, particular creatures have. Well, there's a parallel here that I want to make, of course. In the uh, Gospel of John chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus expressed the same idea when he explained the relationship between himself and his followers, he said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. In this passage, Jesus was saying that those who follow him, they, they know his voice. In other words, they recognize who he is and what he says. Now, in this world, there are many voices. Many voices saying a lot of things. In other words, there's a lot of noise going on in our world today. Um, people who say, well, you know, do what you want to do. Uh, do what makes you happy. Don't get mad, get even. Uh, religion is for wimps. You've got to try everything once. You've got to uh, 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 not be afraid you know, because God's not going to punish you. Just do what you want. Be happy. Follow your heart. All kinds of noises going on trying to get people to follow one idea or another. Jesus says that His followers can pick out His voice above all of this noise and clatter of the world that we live in. And it is evident who hears His voice because they're the ones who do what He says to do. The Adelaide penguins provide a good lesson for us on discipleship. Like them, we need to listen for and respond to our true partner and true guide in this world, in this loud and noisy world, and His name is Jesus Christ. With this in mind, I ask those who might be watching this video, do you hear His voice? He may be calling you to perhaps confess your faith in Him and, and be baptized for the remission of your sins. Uh, he may be calling you to, to give up some sinful habit or some sinful attitude that you might have. He may be calling you into a deeper and more sacrificial giving or perhaps a more sacrificial service or ministry on His behalf. He may be calling you to give up a hatred or a grudge or some sort of prejudice. You'll know it's His voice. If you're really listening, you will really hear His voice and you'll be blessed for it. Well, that's it for today on the Bible Talk video blog. If you have any questions, suggestions, comments, you can always reach me at mike at bibletalk.tv. We'll see you again next time.